this video, we will look at seatbelt chest injuries and car accidents and their settlement value in a lawsuit. There is no dispute that seatbelts save lives, but they can also cause injuries during impact. Seatbelt injuries are the most common form of physical trauma in an auto accident. Seatbelt injuries usually involve the chest, shoulder, or abdominal area, and they fall into one of four categories. Skin abrasions are the first and most common type of seatbelt injury. These abrasions occur where the seatbelt contacts the body across the lower abdomen and diagonally across the chest to the shoulder. The resulting abrasion pattern is known as the seatbelt sign. Skeletal injuries are the second category of seatbelt injuries. In high impact accidents, fractures of the sternum, ribs, and clavicle bones are commonly caused by seatbelts. In some rare cases, seatbelts can also cause spinal fractures, which can have very serious consequences. A third category of seatbelt injuries includes soft tissue and visceral injuries. The most common type of soft tissue seatbelt injuries are torn tendons and muscle damages in the shoulders. Visceral, visceral injuries generally involve tears, ruptures, or perforations in the abdominal area. These typically occur under the lap belt when it's not pr uh, properly positioned. Vascular injuries are the final category of seatbelt injuries. Although rare, in some cases, the force of the impact from the seatbelt can actually tear open the thoracic artery. This can be life-threatening if not treated immediately. The settlement value of seatbelt injuries in car accident lawsuits varies greatly depending on the type and severity of the damage caused by the seatbelt. Minor seatbelt injuries, such as skin abrasions, don't require medical treatment and will typically have a settlement value in the five to $10,000 range. Common skeletal injuries, such as a sternal, clavicle, or rib fracture, are more serious and have an average settlement value between 30,000 to 60,000. Soft tissue and visceral injuries can be even more serious and therefore have a slightly higher average settlement value. The most serious seatbelt injuries, such as vascular tears and spinal fractures, have a very high potential settlement value in excess of $100,000 or more. For more information about seatbelt injuries and their potential settlement value, as well as a look at some recent settlements and verdicts in actual cases, visit our website at millerandzoys.com.